everybody. Um, this should be a short video today. I got a package and it's from, it looks like Harper Collins. If this is what I think it is, it came super, super fast. Um, I was notified on Instagram Sunday, I think it was. And I didn't see it until like Monday that I want a book. And I think that might be what this is. Yes, it is. Yes, 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 yes. I have a copy of The Killer Shadow by John Douglas and Mark Olshaker. Um, if you're familiar with, is it Netflix? The the show Mindhunter on Net, I think it's Netflix, um, which I don't have at the moment, so I haven't seen it. Uh, John Douglas is pretty much the guy that that's based on. Um, I have read some of his things before, and this should be pretty interesting. This is the FBI's hunt for a white supremacist serial killer. The killer shadow from the cases of the FBI's original mine hunter. So John Douglas essentially is the one of the first guys to do the uh, psychological profiling for serial killers, etc. Um, he's been involved with some major, major, major cases. Um, I highly recommend his book, Mind Hunter, <laughs> which I believe is his first book. Uh, he's got several books out. If you're into true crime, he's a guy to read uh, because he lived it. He He's the one that started a lot of the things that, you know, are known now with profiling. Um, very interesting stuff. All the behind the scenes kind of things. I really, I enjoy his stuff. I've started reading him back mid 90s. I've read several of his books, not all of them, because he's got some out that I didn't know about, and um, I'm going to have to pick them up. But this is his newest, and I'm really excited. Uh, Day Street, an imprint of William Morrow. Hmm. Available from Harper Auto, Harper Large Print, and Harper Collins eBooks. Okay, so, in the fall of 1980, John Douglas, the legendary FBI profiler, then in the early years of his career, was called into the manhunt for a white supremacist serial killer. A highly mobile and experienced sniper, the fugitive Joseph Paul Franklin, was suspected of racially motivated murders around the country. Not only was he capable of taking even more innocent lives, there was also a fear that he would target President Jimmy Carter during the 1980 presidential campaign. With the clock ticking, Douglas meticulously dissected the killer's psychology, but despite Franklin's ultimate apprehension, what began as fugitive profile would become one of Douglas's most disturbing and lingering cases. In The Killer's Shadow, Douglas, with his longtime collaborator Mark Olshaker, details the highly coordinated pursuit of Franklin and Douglas's eventual prison confrontation with him. Recounting the method methodical detective work that led to Franklin's capture, Douglas reveals how the case helped prove the power of criminal profiling at a moment when the stakes couldn't have been higher. Years later, after Franklin's conviction and subsequent confessions while in federal prison to a horrific array of other murders, Douglas sat across from Franklin for the first time to complete the profile and understand what motivated his terrifying evolution from hate speech to racially and religiously inspired killing. The end result is a Mindhunter case as chilling and relevant today as it was 40 years ago. One that goes inside the vicious cycle of far-right extremism and shows that to emerge from its shadow of hate, we must first understand its origin. So, yeah. Um, sounds pretty interesting. And in the climate of today's society, it sounds pretty you know, pretty spot on. Um, I, I'm looking forward to reading this one. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. Um, there's the author photo. The one in the dark 
coat is Mark Olshaker. The one in the lighter coat is John Douglas. Um, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Uh, does it say how many books he has out? John Douglas, former FBI special agent, Bureau's criminal profiling pioneer, and best-selling author. Has spent more than three decades hunting, analyzing, and confronting America's most disturbing criminals. He lives in the Washington, D.C. area. Mark Olshaker is an Emmy Award-winning documentary filmmaker, journalist, and author of 12 nonfiction books and five novels. He lives in Washington, D.C. That's convenient. They work together. <laughs> uh, does it tell in here, maybe, all the books? Okay, Mindhunter is the first one, Journey into Darkness. Unabomber, Obsession, The Anatomy of Motive, The Cases That Haunt Us, Broken Wings, Law and Disorder, The Killer Across the Table. I know I have definitely read Mindhunter and The Killer Across the Table, and I think I've read Journey into Darkness. So there's still quite a few that I haven't read yet. Well, I guess they're going to do a series, because when you open... To this title page, it says is book one. Cases of the FBI's original Mindhunter, book one. So now I'm curious what's coming next. Does it tell at the back that what the next one's going to be? Of course not. <laughs> he may not know yet. But I find it interesting that it's going to be a series. I'm down for that. I'll read it. I like this. There's a remembrance of page that lists all of the victims. I think that's a nice touch. And I think it's important. We need to recognize the victims, not just the killer. Um, if you're interested in true crime and you want one that's more about the victims than it is about the killer, I recommend The Five. It's about the canonical five um, of Jack the Ripper's victims. And he's not in it much at all. It's more about the ladies that he killed. And the the situations they were in, the times that they were living in, um, the poverty, the disease, all of the stuff that was going on, um, and very little about Jack the Ripper, which is kind of interesting. Kind of, kind of a nice twist on a true crime novel, or not novel, but true crime book. Um, because it does focus on the victim and not the killer. Why glorify the killer all the time? So I, that's why I think it's a nice touch that they did the remembrance page like that. That's pretty cool. Um, that's really all I've got today. So <laughs> remember to do all the fun youtube -y things like comment, like, share, subscribe. Um, have you read any of John Douglas's books? I thought Mindhunter was phenomenal. I really, really liked it. And The Killer Across the Table is very interesting because it's his conversations with the actual killers and talking to them and finding out what they think makes them tick. Why do they think they went out and did all these horrible things? Um, pretty interesting. If you're interested in psychology, I think... John Douglas does a good job of getting to that. You know, why did these guys do the things that they did? So, um, definitely worth reading if you're into true crime. I can't say enough good stuff about what I've read already. I hope to read some more. <laughs> um, maybe even reread some of the ones that it, it's been a while that I've read. Um, I don't have anything else to talk about today so I will let you go and you know all this stuff I already said don't forget to um, 
click on the bell icon to be notified of when I do videos and things. And I guess that's it for me. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.